Hi guys, this is Boris and in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, making your own homemade pull-up bar. Now it's for those people who enjoy and love building their own stuff as opposed to buying things. And I know that the one that we can make uh, is going to be way better and way stronger than anything that you can buy. Okay. Uh, the parts for this project you get uh, at Home Depot and the total cost is going to be under $20. The first thing is a pair of uh, tension bands. Tension bands are found in the fencing department of Home Depot. They come in a couple of different sizes, like these are one and five eighth of an inch, one and five eighth of an inch, and these are one and three eighth of an inch tension bands. Okay. The second thing you need is carriage bolts. Uh, these are the carriage bolts that are used to tighten the bands like this, okay? Uh, with a pair of nuts and washers, okay? These are five eighth of an inch carriage bolts. Now, um, the third thing you need is, um, it's called a four hole straight bracket. Now, these are found in the electrical department, I don't know why, but they're an electrical department, Home Depot, and these are basically going to be your extension adapters for to have more flexibility in terms of uh, how you mount your pull-up bar. Okay. Now, when you assemble everything together, this is your plate, the four uh, the four hole bracket, and the tension band is going to go like this, and the carriage bolt is going to go like this. Okay with the nut and the washer on the other side like this okay now to tighten these nuts you need uh, you need a wrench this is a half inch wrench okay or you could use this adjustable wrench okay okay this is uh, and um, for the fence post this is going to be a pull up bar you're going to use one and a five eighth of an inch bands they're gonna go like this and then you tighten them yeah so the, 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 the last thing you need and the most important thing probably is the actual bar now this is the one and five eighth of an inch fence post it's a galvanized fence post which is perfect for outside use it will never rust it, it's gonna last forever okay uh, now the fence post will go with the one and the five eighth of an inch bands, or you could use another possibility is to use a shovel handle. Okay, these go for about eight dollars in Home Depot. These are for going to be for smaller arms, and uh, for the for the shovel handle you would use a one and three eighth, one and three eighth of an inch tension band. Now, uh, the third possibility is using a gas pipe, a one inch gas pipe is also going to fit perfectly in this uh, one and three eighth, eighth of an inch tension band and the gas pipes are in the plumbing department. Alright, so you got a couple of possibilities for actual, uh, actual pull-up bars. Now, I'm going to be using this one, the fence post, because, because I have bigger hands, okay? This is perfect for my, for my size and these are about six feet long okay so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the uh, the tension bands on both sides of this fence post okay they just gonna slide in like that and then you tighten the screw okay and I'm gonna do it on both sides of this fence post Okay, don't tighten them all the way yet, just kind of tighten them but not, not 100%, okay? The same thing on the other side. Okay, now then before you tighten them, kind of straighten them so that the, the both both of these brackets are line up perfectly, okay? And then go ahead and tighten them almost to 100%, okay? Now, if you're using a fence post, you might also want to use 
a couple of these uh, of these caps they just go on the ends and if you use it outside this is going to keep the dirt away okay okay now this is pretty much ready to be mounted and this can go anywhere where you have some kind of a piece of a, uh, a wood or, or a beam it can go anywhere in the garage or outside or anywhere in your house now to mount these you want to use uh, 5 8 of an inch hex bolt, bolts okay with with washers and you obviously mount them in these holes okay and these are really strong bolts to mount this okay all right so this is now ready to be installed and uh, I'm just gonna go outside and uh, and and install it in my carport all right so I'm about ready to mount this pull-up bar right there on the ceiling of my carport okay and uh, I already checked the position and the height where it needs to be all right before you mount it make sure that these two brackets are perfectly aligned okay and then go ahead and tighten these screws to 100 percent now uh, first I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna hand it use on a pair of nails okay on a pair of little nails like these and then I'm gonna make sure that it's perfectly level using this little level all right now this is not absolutely necessary but it's a good thing to do I'm gonna check the, that it's level and then I'm gonna use a, a pair of screws uh, these um, 5 8 of an inch uh, hex screws uh, to to mount it all right with the washers and I didn't drill holes for the screws I'm just gonna use my wrench to dry them in and after that I'm gonna additionally strengthen it using these uh, bigger nails so that these brackets don't move sideways I'm just gonna put a couple of more of these uh, of these big nails okay all right here I'm, go I'm gonna set a nail so I can hand the bar on it do the same on the other side while checking the level the straightness and know that the roof is actually not straight so if I didn't have the level I wouldn't be able to to set the bar perfectly perfectly straight now I'm setting the screw with a hammer know that I did not drill a hole for the screw I'm just gonna use a wrench to to basically drive it in it's not exactly easy but you can do it the last few turns were were kind of hard do the same thing on the other side I'm hammering this nail all the way first and then I'm gonna set the screw with a hammer and using the wrench drive it in all right just a couple more turns on the other side and it'll be almost done yeah now I'm just gonna use an additional big nail in the bottom hole to additionally strengthen the, uh, the, the bracket to prevent it from uh, swinging sideways yeah and testing it you can see that the whole roof is shaken but it can hold me really well all right as you can see it really works great and uh, it's a really strong uh, pull-up bar now one thing I can uh, I want to mention is that those two inch screws were just just too hard to dry them in so you want to probably go down to maybe uh, one and a half inch uh, screws because two inches is just it's just too hard to drive them in but it's a good exercise alright guys I'm really satisfied with the quality of my pull-up bar it came out really strong and I think it's gonna last for a very long time 
Now, if I was doing it again, I would probably use little shorter screws to mount it. I would probably be down to one and a half inch instead of two inch screws, just because it did require significant force to drive them into the wood using this wrench. Or if you have a drill, you could drill two holes and then it would be much easier. Uh, but I didn't want to use a drill, I wanted to do it in the simplest way possible, just using this little wrench. Okay, and yeah, I mean, it came out really good, and I highly recommend doing this uh, little project. It's a little fun project uh, that you can do in just about a couple of hours, and it's a really a must-have piece of equipment for your home gym. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.